Okay, so Miss Katie has a little extra corner of her paper over here that I did not paint blue for this guy because I'm going to use it to make our black dots for um, our ladybug. Okay, and for the bottom and top side of the ladybug. So we are going to take a little bit of black. You're, you're going to have to move over, baby. Nope, you're going to have to move your chair, baby. Now don't get it in your red, okay? I'm just on the paper over here. Good job. All right, Eddie's gonna do hers and then Miss Katie's going to do hers over here. So we're just gonna take some black. I'm just gonna put it on the paper. And Miss Katie is going to use this size paintbrush first to spread it around a little bit just cause I have it in a glob here. I'm gonna make some cool textures with it, with the brush first and then Katie has decided to use, whoops, I'm spreading this around. So this black we're going to end up cutting off can, can have the paper can have and cutting it into circles for the polka dots. <laughs> on the, or the spots on the ladybug. Okay. Whoa! Friends, make sure if you're doing this outside, you pick a day that's not windy. Miss Katie made a poor choice apparently today. <laughs> but it was just so nice. Oh! Ooh, make sure you don't get it in the red, remember? Because the red's for our ladybug. Okay, so I'm spreading it, and then Miss Kitty is going to use the back side of the brush to make some texture in there. So I'm going to just kind of poke my paper around. It's not doing a whole lot, but maybe if I roll the brush kind of around, it'll look cool. Kind of just like this. You can really find anything, my friends. Okay? That's the cool part about this artwork. So, I'm also going to take the bottom side of my paint bottle and just give it a couple stamps. Miss Katie likes the look of that, too. And I need I'm just really trying to get it some texture in there, my friends. Right? Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Stamping. Stamping. Abby's doing some stamping on hers. Okay, and then we need some colors for the wings. What I'm, color? I'm, so I'm gonna use, I have another small corner of my paper, okay? So I've got the I'm background here that I'm gonna cut one. out and then I have- I'm gonna use this one. Yep. Which... Can I have that too, baby? Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna use, I'm gonna take some white, but I'm, what I'm also going to do is mix another color with it. So the wings are kind of clearish, I'm but in order to see them, we gotta make them like whitish, grayish, maybe we'll add a little blue. You can have fun with it. Whatever color you guys want to make the wings, you go for it, okay? So I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Put a little bit on my paper here. And then I'm also just going to add a tiny bit of... Actually, I'm just going to take my paintbrush that I used for the blue. And I need some pink. Mm, that might be too much blue. Maybe we'll take our sponge. I'm going to take the brush. Okay. Yes, you are, my dear. Can I'll add a little bit of this color. I'm going to use, I'm, I'm going to use pink. A little bit of this grayish blue. And I'm going to use this And I'm going to spread it around, but then I'm going to take and I'm gonna... this random headband that we have at our house. See this? It's kind of cool. I think it's going to give it a really cool texture. So... First, I'm going to take a paintbrush. No, this is my paintbrush. I'm just going to mix it up here a little bit so I can get a nice color. But how are you going to do mine? Oh, the 
Yeah, that's pretty color. Um, can, are you going to do mine now? Yes, baby. This so we're going to try and make them. Mommy, I can do one twice. I can do paper twice. I'll check. Okay. okay, so then I'm going to take this material here. This is just a random headband from, I think, an old Halloween costume that is in our art bin. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to stamp it on my paper into the paint so it creates this cool texture. I can do mine. Yeah, it kind of makes this like cross hatch texture almost. It's going to be too wet. Cool. Here, I'll do yours. Where's your paint? You want to do it in the black paint? Yeah. Okay, let's use your black paint. Oh, yeah, that looks cool already. Actually, that's really cool. We could use that for the, for our, um, ladybug dance, right? Can I, I want, I want to use, I want to use this one now. Okay, you would like some of this light pink color. Evelyn has chosen to use some light pink. Not sure where she's going to put it right now. Put it over here on the paper. Okay. Make sure you don't get it in our red for our ladybug. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, friends. Now we're going to let everything dry. And then we're going to start cutting, okay? 